I'm Sean White, a representative of Aquatech of California, and today I want to talk about the Aquatech CO2 Regulator Mini. This sleek, space-saving design is for use with paintball CO2 tanks, such as this one, making this regulator ideal for smaller CO2 system setups. The compact design is an all-in-one unit that's great for planted aquariums. It's threaded for use with a paintball CO2 tank, eliminating the need to purchase a separate paintball tank adapter. Use of the paintball CO2 tanks enables customers to avoid using unsightly industrial sized CO2 tanks. The Aquatech CO2 Regulator Mini is equipped with dual gauges giving both PSI and kilograms per centimeter. The left gauge measures the tank capacity and the right gauge measures the output working pressure. Like all Aquatech CO2 regulators, it has a cool touch industrial solenoid design and the precision needle valve can be used for fine tuning the release of CO2. Next, let's talk about what comes in the box with your Aquatech CO2 Regulator Mini, as well as how to install it and how to operate it. In the box, you'll find the regulator itself, as well as the Aquatech bubble counter with integrated check valve. To install it, first remove the nut from the side of the regulator or so. Take your tubing, which can be purchased on the Aquatech website, and thread it through the nut. Put the tubing over the nipple on the regulator, slide the nut up, and screw it on. Next, you're going to install your tank into the regulator by hand. Once it's hand tight, you can use an adjustable wrench to tighten it. You can now attach your Aquatech bubble counter and integrated check valve to the other end of your tubing. Take the plug and plug it in. You should hear a click, which is the valve opening. You should also see the pressure of the tank register on the left gauge. Flow can then be adjusted using the precision needle valve. When removing the regulator itself, pressure builds up, so you're going to have to use a wrench to take it off. 